Hi everybody, Gerdy. This morning I was reading in a book and uh, I came across this quote from somebody who got fired from his job after working for a long time at the company he had been working at. And as he explained in this book, um, he had always been afraid to quit his job and start doing what it was that he wanted to do because he was afraid of flying without a safety net. He had somehow assumed, as many of us do, that his job and the company he worked for was his safety net. But then the company reorganized and he got, as they say, let go. So his safety net was gone. And I think from speaking to clients and from my own experience as well, that we have a tendency, many of us have a tendency to not take risks, to not do the things that scare us when it comes to decisions like moving to a different city, changing jobs, maybe even quitting jobs, ending friendships, ending relationships, making any big change in our lives because we feel that it's better to know what we've got than it is to not know what we're going to get. So we're afraid to fly without the safety net of knowing the situation we're stepping into. Now, I often work with people who for a long time have been in a place in their lives, usually in their professional careers, where they they feel or they say something along these lines. I I wish I knew what it was that I wanted to do. I wish I knew what it was that I needed to change to start living the life as I want to live it, to start living my real life. And what they do what we what I did for a long time and what this man in that book did as well was for a long time they focused on that they focused on I don't know what it is that I want to do I wish I knew what it was but I don't know what it is that I want to do and when we focus on that bit it's really hard to get clarity around what it is that we do want to do And to gain clarity, it's important to know what your core values are, to know what it is that is really important to you. It is important to start setting boundaries, because with boundaries you create space for yourself, room for yourself to feel and to discover what it is that you want to do. And it is important to get clear about your vision. And your core values and your boundaries are a big part of that vision and of your ability to be able to create that vision. Wouldn't it be great if you had clarity? Clarity about what your what you want your life to look like, what you want to do when it comes to work how you want to live. And it doesn't necessarily mean quitting your job. It doesn't necessarily mean being fired. It doesn't necessarily mean leaving your partner. It doesn't necessarily mean doing anything big and drastic. But it does mean letting go of this idea that um, there is some kind of safety net. Because people get fired all the time. 
and people get sick and relationships break up, friendships end, stock markets crash, all kinds of things happen that can uh, just rip away that safety net that we feel that we uh, depended on so much. So why not take a risk? Why not create some space for yourself and start figuring out what it is that you, how, and what it is that your real life looks like, your life looks like. And that includes how it is you want to live and what it is you want to do in that life. And you need clarity for that. So start taking, making some time to figure out what it is that you hold really important, hold dear to your heart. How you can use that to set the boundaries so that people stop taking up so much space in your life and you get room to breathe again. And how those things are part of your vision for your life. All right. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.